So this is part two of my um, demonstration on my snake game. Part one is uh, in the link in the description. So part two, basically, I just played the game a little bit to get the snake a bit larger. So you can kind of see like how this multi-display works. You know, I got my snake, which is a considerable length right now. I'm trying to get the apple. And as you can see, now the snake's tail is quite long, so now it's spanning over multiple displays. So you can imagine, you know, how how much bigger you can make it if you had a five by five by five grid. Uh, sorry, five by five grid. Uh, which again, if you'll uh, check one of my earlier videos on the the concept of this micro bit multi display, I can scale it from either having one bit, one micro bit, two. All right, here I died. So two, uh, two by two, three by three, which is what I have now, four by four, or f five by five. As you saw here, it gave me like, the uh, score was 23, and the game restarts. So I'll, I'll think of other games, like possibly, I was thinking of doing like a Tetris style game, or Space Invaders. Um, and obviously, my one of my, uh, you know, one of my ideas would be to get a better, better grid, you know, to display these. As you can see here, I'm just using tape. And um, the micro bits aren't really lined up well, so it can kind of mess up the display a little bit. But that's the idea behind it.